you can also have actually this money in, invested in some like uh, it's like dieting you like to eat you diet for three months you you reach like your your uh... anyways yes today we're talking about another financial video and this is about an emergency fund what is it and what we wanted to discuss here is a thousand in this case you're talking about a thousand euros it could also be a thousand or maybe not depending on where you're at but a thousand it's just not Absolutely. an emergency yeah. fund Don't be surprised. Why? Because I was in the bathroom putting on my bra and screaming how cold the bra is because it has the plastic stuff. <laughs> I was like, oh! I... Let's hope that I don't cook your bra. <laughs> no! Because sometimes I, I, I preheat the oven yeah. without looking what is inside. No, but it's ridiculous because, like, uh, what is it? Uh, autumn. And it's just really. What is it? It's it, it, because I'm thinking of herbs. Mm -hmm. It's autumn and I just think it's cold and honestly like the, the, the stripes within the bras which are usually like elastic pants are usually plastic I think they are plastic or silicone, I don't know, it's super cold Anyways, a thousand, it is not Absolutely. an emergency fund Nowadays it's nothing We can only talk about nowadays, this way we are living in So it's not an emergency fund mm -hmm. um, What is an emergency fund really? An emergency fund is an amount of money that you actually calculate based on what are your monthly expenses that should be able to support you at least for, I would say, three months and is in an account that is always there and this money they don't get touched unless there is a real emergency. Yes. Uh Definition. Do you remember when we used to be like students and just really spend all the money even before the end of the month? So we actually arrived at the end of the month and we were completely broke and we couldn't even afford to go buy groceries. Yeah, but I'm not even thinking about students. I'm talk I'm also thinking just about our current lifestyle. While I think we don't spend until everything maybe goes down. I think we have another habit that really take money out of this house and for you is investing. You want to put everything we have literally there. And I for me, I think we should or it is always important that we have something aside because you can't have also everything in stocks. In stocks. <laughs> because if anything I mean we have seen now for us we started emergency fund, I would say we started it pretty much at the beginning of our investment because it, it's just like one of those, if you're reading a lot about investment, you know, as much as you're interested in making money, this, you, can lose money <laughs> you, can lose, you can lose everything, mm -hmm. depending on how much you're putting in there. So when we were starting, we thought, okay, and this bit is staying for safety in case of anything. And Mr. I invest all the time. Is now always very focused on you know what is new, what is there, which I think is nice and of course potential for us also to make more money. But I think the other side is that maybe your mind is then also relieved to know that okay, I can play around with this at least if anything happens. Uh, we, we have our jobs and then we have also or we are covered, and I think that is good. Yeah, absolutely. And let's just say three months ago, six months ago, shutdown came. Yeah, you are at home. Many people found in, found themselves in this situation, for example. You have more, especially those that work in the restaurants and this kind of, and shops in mall. You have your contract, one day the other is gone and you don't have any savings. That is something, is a terrible situation to be, really. And uh, I don't know, emergency fund in this case really can save literally your hair. Yes, but I think at the same time, I also want to emphasize that um, of course it doesn't come, you have to sacrifice because keeping also money enough for three months aside, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like a hibernation situation. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, you're not living in the moment, you have always this money aside for the future, right? You feel mm -hmm. like, 
Ah, uh, maybe I can go on but vacation. It's, it's not true because if you if you really attach to your lifestyle, <laughs> after you you need to. It's like dieting. You like to eat. You diet for three months. You you reach like your your. Uh, your perfect the, the the weight that you are comfortable with and then you yeah, go and out and eat whatever yes. you want. Ah, ah, it's like a financial diet. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can say, for example, in uh, four months, six months, you save this account, then you can you you can at least start again with your behavior and eat up all all of no, your you size. without you even want. any consent. Then. No, it's it's not something that I would recommend to do. <laughs> but if you're really attached to that kind of lifestyle, why not? Is your life? Yes. So I think when I talk about this emergency fund and I say thousand is enough, I also understand depending on you know what your job is. A thousand sounds like a lot, but if you can just hibernate a little bit more and save more enough for three months yes if you can i, I can understand could be a situation where you're not able to but if you can do that so maybe you miss out on some parties and some stuff for three months and then you're kind of on a safe side in case your job your source of income kind of on like i don't know your business closes or whatsoever, whatsoever mm -hmm. you have a little bit of safety for for three months that's good i think also important to say is what the emergency fund should not be used for. Ah, yeah. Not for buying a new car, that's for sure. <laughs> that is not an emergency. That's not for emergency. That I think is a goal that you should have specific. But I think also, now I'm thinking from a Namibian mindset. Mm -hmm. It's not even a mindset, it's just like, because I was born in Namibia and I know how much you spend on weddings, right? Yeah. I, I have a feeling, I be tempted to go to an emergency fund to to go take the biggest get out to my cousin's wedding and i think that is not also what an emergency fund is for so you would buy a kettle from the emergency fund why i guess is i don't have money is, for is the kettle uh, yeah, yeah. and i have money for the emergency fund then i work for the emergency fund next month <laughs> but i'm just thinking yeah those it shouldn't be for gifts it shouldn't be it should really for yourself like as, as a mini insurance for yourself absolutely just like really how to calculate the emergency fund and for you that is important that is important you need to take uh, you need to know and be aware of all your bills at least the three main ones which is rent or mortgage which is boot um, like uh, uh, utilities like electricity internet whatever and then, of course, if you have car expensive insurance, uh, gasoline debt, you put together and per month and you calculate three months. And that is going to be the amount of money that you have to save and lock away. I would also say it's not best to say you add an extra 200 or so just to have room. Mm -hmm. You can also have actually this money in, invested in some like... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, but in, in some low yield things, like uh, something that you know that... Uh, like the bank that give you 2%? Yeah, but it's not, it, it's not recommendable to do that because when you take it then, uh, if you have an emergency, something that is really a low yield uh, stock that you are sure that uh, it's not going to go down and it's going to give you a little bit of yield so that at least if there is some inflation, because you know, the, for example, we said a thousand euro today, is not an emergency fund but if you think about a thousand euros maybe 10 years ago that would have been much more because of inflation so the money that you put aside now today and then you call it an emergency fund you always need to update what are your expenses because then if you put out your monthly expenses to double of what it was before then also your emergency fund need to be bigger Absolutely, the fund needs, yes, yeah, so I would say a year to two, depending on if you're moving from new apartments, if you're upgrading your car and stuff, then you also shift that a bit. Um, now, my opinion, now this is my opinion, my emergency fund, I would always say the safe place to keep it is always bank safe account. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to invest it anyway. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not, I, like I'm saying, with a bank saving account, you get maybe 
one percent interest I, I don't even think it's one percent maybe there's 0 0.4 mm -hmm. interest rate per year but it's just like a stable it's just there possible add a little bit more a thousand is this there's is not it's enough not at enough. least three months worth of, of your expenses mm -hmm. then if your expenses is fit three months fits within a thousand let me know where you live because i might move, uh, we might move. <laughs> yes yeah. if it fits within a thousand yeah Thousand euros or thousand million dollars? <laughs> thousand no, million dollars. Thousand million dollars, I think, we won't get. I mean, even in a million, thousand a million dollars, no, I don't think it will get you much. Anywhere. No. It's it, like, again, it's, it's a 50 issue. euro. Yes, just, it's again the issue of inflation before is it's a 10 euro could get you a little bit more, so it's a hundred mm -hmm. million dollars. But if I think of also what I can do with the 10 euro now. Yeah. Like 10 million dollars now, it's 50 cents. Those things. Yeah, if you enjoy such kind of videos from time to time, I know this is one of the videos or topics that usually don't do very well on our channel, but these are also, I think, something that we are very passionate about. And we yeah. talk about pretty much every single day in this household, and we can't really ignore it. Because from time to time, we just like to come here and share with you and learn from you as well. A little bit of financial tips here and there. I mean, you can do. How do you live now without finances? In Absolutely, financial education needs to be there. As an individual, as a couple, as everything, it needs to be there to be aware of where you are going and I mean, even you know. Now in kindergarten, already like if you say euro, you can buy me a lollipop. <laughs> if you like this kind of video, give us a thumb up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and please. leave a comment down below. Yeah, see you in our next video. Ciao! I want to tell you something in Namibia which was very common. I don't know how it is now, but back in the day, everybody, when you start working and you go to the bank and you mm -hmm. talk about I'm opening an account and starting to see you working, yes, you need a 32 day account. What is a 32? I will just explain to you now. It's interesting. This, as far as uh, the way it was advertised, was supposed to be an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. But I think the bank was just they use. In my opinion, the bank was just using it. You deposit your money there. They are playing around with it, and then they give you so your money back because it was not really with interest. I think it's more like my normal Deutsche Bank saving account. Mm -hmm. The bad thing though with this emergency fund is that you can only get the money mm -hmm. after 32 days. Ah, okay. Yeah, so in case of emergency, 32 really days. If you say no, I need the money tomorrow, they have to charge you a lot, a, a lot of fees. <laughs> that is, sounds more like a scam to do <laughs> yeah. account. Yeah, it was, it was by the bank. I, and I just remember back in the day, everybody, we started working 32. You need a 32. You can't go without a 32. You need a 32. It's your saving, it's your emergency, everything. And usually the bank would, because the bank also gets your salary every month, right? Mm -hmm. So they would make sure you make a very nice plan for this account. The other money, they, they kind of already, you can already see. 10% every month put it here and mm. then make sure that it's there all the time. But honestly, I'm putting my money to have access to it only after 32 days. <laughs> yeah, like emergency is emergency. Can, be, can happen every single day. 32 days is like planning a holiday. Even planning a holiday sometimes doesn't, doesn't take that long. So 32 days. Yeah. It was actually for 32 months the same year. Do you still be there? <laughs> this video boring baby. No, it's like it's the, the lights after a while make me a little bit uh, The dizzy. lights mm -hmm. or this... Oh, if you could watch sunset on the balcony, so 